onda? This is Hector El Chido Canales bringing you a quick unboxing review of WWE Mattel's Legend Series 14. Me, Mark Callis! Me, Mark, of course, comes in the WWE Mattel Legends packaging with a cute little picture of me, Mark, on the bottom left corner. And on the sides, you got that same cute picture. On the back, you got that same picture, but blown up. And on the side, you got a nice little bio of me, Mark Callis. And at the very bottom, you got a list of all the figures in this series that you can collect. I actually like this bio a lot, so I'm going to leave it on the screen so you could pause it. that is out let's smell them very big new toy smell i think it has a lot to do with his chaps here and his vest let's take a look at the extra hands now starting off there's a few things i don't like but once we get there i'll point them out so his head is a great but great likeness but here's something I don't like, where the hair piece connects to the head sculpt. He literally looks like he's wearing a hair piece. Like a real bad rug. But the face, this is Mark Calloway. This is excellent, except for that hair. Now we're gonna go down to his upper body. And it looks cool and all, but then look at that. I don't know where that red stain came from. Maybe red paint from his elbow pad smeared onto his tricep. Then some more paint app mistakes right there. Blue, where did that come from? Another thing I don't like is the stiffness in the joints. This is becoming a real big problem with Mattel. I just opened up a Masters of the Universe Origins figure and I had the same problem. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break them. Let's take off the vest just to assume I can't take off the vest. Okay, here we go. Doesn't look too bad. Now going down to his legs. Okay. And these chaps are removable. And some more paint application mistakes right there. It's very small, but still some more mistakes. They're getting pretty sloppy with the actual manufacturing of these figures. Not so much the likeness rendering, but when they're trying to execute it and they're having all these paint application mistakes, the joints not being able to move, that's awful. Now, as a collector, when you unbox it and you display them, you want to be able to pose them. If the joints are all messed up, you can't pose them the way you want to. I do love these boots because they look like starter boots. They look like something a new wrestler would buy and work in for a, like the next year or two until he can afford better boots. From far away, you can miss all those messed up paint applications see this looks really cool he looks extremely badass but then i mean once you start getting to the small little details the paint application mistakes and the shoulders that won't go up i guess you could do it this way but that sucks you can't move the shoulder up anymore getting really tired of that man stupid Mattel and here he is posed with that closed fist gloved hand because at this time his finisher was with that devastating heart punch thanks for joining me on this quick unboxing review of mean Mark K. 
Callis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And check out the next quick unboxing review of someone who will match up very well with this sweaty, shiny black leather man, China. What? What, what did I say? Oh, hello. And just in case you wanted to see a comparison, here is The Undertaker next to Mean Mark Callis. Mean Mark Callis is a little bit taller. Both likenesses are very, very good. This is kind of like when Batman met Bruce Wayne. Surprised to see me? A little. I'm more surprised that I lived so long.